Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Families in tears after they spot a familiar face at the dog shelter. For Chuck and Alicia James, a dog made all the difference in their household. Reckless, the family pit bull, knew when the parents of three could use encouraging licks, and he could make the whole crew laugh until their bellies hurt. He made their house a home, which made their mistake all the more painful. While preparing for a storm set to blast their city, the James left one detail unaccounted for that cost them their beloved canine. They didn't realize the hurricane would push them into the most atypical adoption journey. Superstorm Sandy, which hit the U.S. coast in 2012, will go down in history as one of the costliest hurricanes in American history. It imposed nearly $70 billion in damage and forever changed some families. Affecting 24 states and along with a post-tropical cyclone in the northeast United States, Canada, and the Caribbean, as stated by the National Hurricane Center, Superstorm Sandy was a monster. The James family experienced that firsthand. Though Chuck, Alicia, and their three children, Alexandra, Kelsey, and Liam, were lucky to have their health, Sandra took something from them. The storm had destroyed the fencing of their Keensburg, New Jersey home, which was keeping their dog from getting out. With the fence torn down, Reckless, the couple's brown and white terrier pit bull mix, ran away. We had a collar on the dog, but it got caught on the fence and came off, said Chuck. They searched hard for Reckless, but they couldn't spend eternity searching for him. When Alexandra's 10th birthday rolled around, over a year after Reckless escaped, the couple thought it would be a perfect time to finally adopt another pooch. Knowing they could never replace their friend, they visited the Monmouth County SPCA. At the shelter, an employee first introduced the James family to an adorably scrappy dog named Lucas. This doggo had brown and white short fur and appeared to be some sort of a mutt. He had an incredible backstory. After Sandy, we had so many animals being turned in. Jerry Rosenthal, the president and CEO of the animal shelter, explained to CNN, Many of these poor things had their homes destroyed and wound up losing their way. Jerry relayed that three-year-old Lucas was brought to the shelter in November 2013 after an employee witnessed him aimlessly roaming the streets of New Jersey, and he wasn't in good shape. Due to Lucas's condition upon entering the shelter, experts assumed the dog had spent a period living with another family, or at least being fed, before escaping once again. Enamored by the dog's story, the family got to know him a little better. After initially observing Lucas's pant, jump, and simply walk around the shelter, the James family noticed that the short and stout pit bull mix had an eerie resemblance to their beloved Reckless. It was heartwarming to be reminded of an old friend. But then Lucas reacted. He jumped three feet in the air. He immediately recognized us, and then the tears came. There wasn't a dry eye in the place, Chuck stated. Was it a miracle? If they were truly in the presence of their missing Reckless, how would they know for sure? He was a little heavier, and it had been a while, but then my wife saw the scar on his head, and immediately we started tearing up. We'd found our dog. By May 2014, the James family's home was still in ruins, leading them to pack up whatever belongings survived the storm and move into a hotel. But they didn't mind. Reckless was back at their sides. One family member in particular was the most enthusiastic. Alexandra was ecstatic when she was reunited with Reckless, as the two had a close bond. While on a family camping trip, Chuck told CNN that the duo have been inseparable since the unforeseen reunion. The kids are happy and this whole thing has been an amazing experience, said Alicia. The only thing I can say now is I am finally on vacation with all the members of our family again, Chuck warmly said. We really could shed a tear at this wholesome, happy ending. In Jerry's eyes, the James family story, which obviously had a happy ending, only further highlighted the importance of getting your pet microchipped. Things would have played out much differently if Reckless had been microchipped to begin with. If Reckless had been microchipped, he could have reunited with his family much sooner, he said. The process entails implanting a rice-sized chip in your pet's skin in order to electronically identify him or her. We love happy endings. I always tell people our goal is to prevent animals from coming into the shelter except when we can get them back to the original owners. 
Jerry continued. It's a joyful day for everyone when lost fur babies can see their loved ones smiling faces again. If Reckless were microchipped, he could have been reunited with the James family in November 2013, more than six months prior to when they were actually reunited. Perhaps fate truly played a part in this story. Call it fate or maybe an animal's intuition. Once they were reunited with their beloved dog, the Jameses were shocked to learn how many families had similar experiences. Please feel free to share this with your friends.